Good morning everyone! Today you and I are going to talk about Fetch and Axio. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is going to go a little bit off track and it's going to do so for a very good reason. Trust me, I won't let you down. I hope at least. I'd like to think that this is going to be good. So let's get some context. First and foremost, there was a subscriber who explained to me as part of a comment on one of my videos that he is working on a well basically a web application where they literally have jQuery for one single reason and this is a story that has been told to me a hundred times Frederick we are using jQuery only for Ajax calls and so we are migrating over to Axios and I've heard this a hundred times. And so he asked me the question, but should we use fetch instead? Because fetch is, you know, is fetch the, the new standard for the modern web application? Now, this sparks a very interesting question. The short answer is yes. The very short answer. If you want to quit this video immediately and get away from me, yes, yes, use fetch. There's no reason not to. But if you want the real answer, you're gonna have to stick around for a little while longer. Now, Fetch, as you may know, is the browser standard today. It is supported in all the major browsers and it is the new wrapper or the new way of doing Ajax calls in JavaScript. It used to be the XR, uh, XHR standard, a standard, which was absolutely horrible in every single way. However, and it's still the most widely supported method of doing Ajax calls in JavaScript. And it, that's kind of where jQuery got well, virtually, like if you haven't really thought about it, jQuery kind of wrapped that entire interface in a, in a convenience method and made it more publicly available. It made it easier to understand. Now, Axios in it's basically doing the same sort of thing. It is a wrapper that gives you a nicer API around a horrible, horrible standard. And for those of you who are interested in programming patterns, you may actually suspect that this is what we call a decorator pattern. It's basically a convenience method around something that is true, is that is ugly, or something that you, for whatever reason, want to make a little bit nicer, and then you create your own API on top of it, so that the consumer has an easier time with it. Now. Why am I going on about this? Why am I not just saying that you should go with uh, Fetch and, or Axios? Why, 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 what's this coming from? Well, because I want you to understand a few things when you ask the question, should I go with Axios or should I go with Fetch? If we take a look at it from my perspective, I would say this. If you are working in a Node environment, if you are using Node.js, then there's no reason for you not to use Axios. If I work in a Node.js environment, I use Node Fetch because it's basically Fetch on the Node side of things. But why am I suggesting that in Node.js and not in just any project? Well, let me tell you. So Axios is much nicer. The interfaces are much, in my opinion, like it's a much nicer development experience. They're, they have slightly nicer convenience methods and so forth, even though Fetch has this kind of... I would really like Fetch to simply default to parsing JSON, so I don't have to have this slightly odd in-between step where we get the response and then you do .json to get JSON, because I, I, maybe it is a reasonable default, maybe it is good to be verbose, I don't know. It, but there, there's these tiny, tiny little details in the Fetch standard that makes things a little bit weird. Anywho, Axios, although a nicer experience in general, has one drawback, and that is that it's not the standard. Now that may not matter much to you, but it does matter to me, because I am the sort of person who will argue that if I am adding a library or a dependency, it has to provide more value than it is costing me. And for doing Ajax calls, 
in a browser, this value, na a value <laughs> estimation does not fall in its favor, basically. That's all there, all there is to it. I don't see any reason to use something that has slightly nicer defaults for the cost of adding that weight to my it doesn't matter if it's just a few kilobyte like a few a kilobyte or two it doesn't matter how big it is because fetch is already in the browser and there is really nothing painful about using fetch to me it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to have a third party library why would you there is it's just in my opinion it's just dumb there is no logical reason why you would do this and you are of course you're please argue with me post angry comments if you disagree that's okay but to me it makes absolutely no sense if you you are in a node.js environment that problem isn't really much uh, like there's really no no problem with it and that's because you're not actually shipping anything to the client like there's no real downside to using a third-party library apart from support like, there are downsides of course but i not as big as for the client or rather in the browser and i actually argue that this is where i think that a lot of people went wrong back in the jquery days as well because i saw like as the begin at the beginning of my talk i said to you that this person my subscriber had said that they had jquery on the page mostly to do ajax calls and this is something I want to address as well. When I first started programming, this was just when jQuery was kind of at its peak in terms of sort of popularity. And I'm going to be honest, I, you know, I was just like everybody else. I didn't know much about programming. All I knew was that everybody was hyping jQuery. I didn't even, though in those days, I didn't even think about page weight. I was just struggling with trying to figure out how to actually write the damn code, right? But had I had the sort of skill and knowledge that I have today, I would have asked a very fundamental question. And I think that this is the sort of question that I wish, I wonder why this never really struck anybody back in the day. Because back in the day, jQuery, apart from it being very good at DOM manipulation, which I think like, if you were doing a lot of stuff on the page, which you, you had several different reasons for using jQuery that made sense to have it, right? But for the most part, for a lot of projects, it was really only to get the Ajax APIs. And here's my question about this. Why didn't you use jQuery's idea instead of using jQuery? Because I did it just the other day to try, kind of play around with it. I created my own fetch implementation on top of the XHR standard. All it did, all, all I did was to use the native, native code. I actually created all that ugly code because why the like what it's still possible even though it's ugly you can actually do it with the old standard i did so wrapped a function around it gave that a callback function just as you would have done with with like with jquery itself so you had a success callback and a failure callback that was it i basically created my own very like very tiny wrapper or decorator around that standard and now I didn't need jQuery anymore and I still had basically the same amount of value coming in for it. It wasn't as feature rich but it didn't need to be. I knew what I was going to use it for. It's going to be a get, fun a get call or a post call for the most part. I didn't need to be all custom headery or do all of these, this other fancy stuff. That was it. Easy peasy. And now I didn't need jQuery as, as a dependency. And what I find interesting about these sort of things is that third-party libraries and so forth i kind of i wonder why we got to a point where we simply treat them as just any other code and sometimes i feel that people kind of forget where I, th this as i said earlier this value versus cost calculation that you kind of have to do every time so what i want you to take away from this video is that yes using a third-party library in the right context 
is, is, is there's no, no nothing really bad about it but always ask yourself if you can get away from using a third-party library because if you have a standard there are very big benefits to having that standard and if the standard is awful like in the old days ask yourself could i tweak this maybe can i use my own coding skills to make this just a little bit nicer for my specific use case instead of pulling in a third-party library that's going to be more risk and more weight to my project it's just a thought and if you want me to summarize this i will say if you're in the browser use fetch if you're not in the browser do whatever you want those are my two cents on the matter have a great day